Hi everybody, welcome to 3D Print Tech Design. Today a quick video because I want to tell you a little bit about this, the Fiberlogy uh, PLA Mineral. So um, they approached me and asked if I wanted to try out some of their materials and I had looked at this mineral material uh, just because it has this mineral feel to it. So it's slightly off-white but it is a very nice texture to it. So it's almost like uh, gypsum, a little bit less dusty uh, compared to, to gypsum but it's a really cool color and I find it really nice to do like ornaments and pretty stuff to have at home. Uh, so. Yeah, maybe not the most technical material, it doesn't have the most impressive specs when it comes to strength and all that, but it is a very beautiful material and uh, I think that some of these models will tell it uh, till their own story. I also tried to sand it a little bit, so I've been sanding one of the sides and it behaves superb. So if you have a model that you have some patience and you want to sand, I think this would be a very nice material. You don't have to, uh, to paint it or finish it off later, you can just hand sand it. I think I used a 240 grit here and I'll show the close-up, looks very good. Yeah, it prints super easily, not a lot of settings, it's like 190 to 210, I was running mostly 215, 210, with the 2.85mm in the BCN Sigma. I should have asked for 1.75mm because I did have a little bit of issues, you could see it in some of the vases, uh, a little bit of like the belts and the C, C motion wasn't the greatest, but uh, finally I got some really good results. So in this vase mode there's there's, it's impeccable. There's nothing I would like to change in the material. There are some settings I could probably change in the printer, but again, that's the printer's fault, or, or <laughs> however you want to say that. Since this is a mineral material, it has like the fibers inside of it, so it's almost like something like wood or similar. So it does behave pretty bad when it comes to stringing. So you can, of course, fine tune your printer a little bit, but it does have some issues with that and I think there's a little bit of, of uh, moisture absorbing as well because this is one of the latest models I'm printing and, and this one started having issues with the start and stop which the other ones didn't have. So yeah, other than that when it comes to like this model, the statue, uh, I find it completely beautiful. It's it's perfect finish, there are some banding, when it, but like C banding from the printing. The material really, really enhances like the, the medieval marble mineral look. Yeah, I, I find it really, really amazing. Yeah, speaking of stringing, if you have some issues with that, I tried some techniques. They're okay, maybe I, I wouldn't recommend everyone to do that. But it does help a little bit, but it still leaves a little bit of molten plastic behind. Um, yeah, so, so if you want to have a very nice material, I think architects and designers uh, could benefit of having this material because of the feel and the finish of it. Uh, it's not too matte, so there's still some gloss in it, but it's not, it's not like regular PLA or even close, and it's not as matte as uh, ABS either. Um, but yeah, I find it really good for like these types of models. Um, I will be working a little bit with some... some um, artists and sculptors later on, so I will do some scanning for them and then printing their, their models as giveaways. So I think that this is going to be a super nice material for that, because it will really enhance and create this artistic look of their, uh, their, their models and their designs. I also got some regular PLA, uh, but I'll save that for a later video with the whole master spool story. Uh, so yeah, you've probably already heard about that. But that's a reusable spool. So. Fibrology provides 
those kind of spools as well so you can just put this on and you're ready to go but more about that in a different video so yeah the spools are very nice the design is very good uh, they're probably spool up the box is really good it has some very nice features on it you see everything you need you also have a small like counter so you can see how much filament you have left and they also send you some candy which is pretty nice and which really affects how a reviewer thinks about the material right um, <laughs> yeah, but with that said, I want to keep this short. I recommend buying this material. I will not have an affiliate link down below, I think. But yeah, just check them out. If you want to do this kind of designy, artsy stuff, or maybe impress your partner at home with some good looking models, instead of the regular shiny blue and gray and really colorful PLA models, this is a great alternative, print super easy. Just remember, remember about the stringing. So yeah, with that said, I think we are going to head it off into the next video. So make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment down below if you have any questions about this material or anything else on my channel. And thanks a lot for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye!